Okay, so I'm in my bathroom because the kids are driving me crazy. <laughs> and I couldn't make a video without locking myself into a room. So I really wanted to show you what I've been doing in this composition book because I have kids and I don't have time to make masterpieces anymore. Um, so lots of people have been talking about a glue book, um, caged fish and oh goodness, everyone. It's not my original idea. So this is all I have time for in my life right now. In fact, sometimes I do it with the toddler sitting on my lap. So in this composition book, um, first of all, I chose um, one that was um, grid paper. And um, then I put a pocket, I made a pocket out of, um, you know, one of these sheets. And I just duct taped, I cut it to the size and duct taped it in. And these are just some of my bits of drawings and stuff that I've done um, that eventually I want to put in words that I want to put kind of as the last pieces on the glue book. So I'm saving these. So in the beginning, um, I was using this book for something else. So that's why there's a table of contents. And I was, I was doing some practice. This was like a year ago. Yeah, a year ago. Good thing I dated it. You should definitely date your work, right? But, um, and I was trying to, yeah, practice, practice, blah, 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 notes. Um, and then I was like, this isn't working. So I wanted to try a glue book. Um, and so this is the first thing I glued in. And this was some um, painting mixing that I was doing with my students in the Art One class. And so we were trying to just... Um, mix a hundred colors so this was my demonstration so I just cut it off and I put it in here because I liked it and then this I did the other day and this is flare pen I was showing the students how to draw with continuous line and that the flare pen bleeds so when you put water over the flare pen it bleeds and then you can put in shadow in the areas that you want to get darker so I just I'm gluing things in the book and it is so satisfying because that's all I have time for. So at least I'm doing something, right? So some pages are not done for sure. Like I'm starting like kind of a theme here or maybe making a story like this is going to be a library and some pages are totally done. So this was um, an image from a magazine. And then this was um, some experiments that I did with um, uh, texture. It's actually textured. Let me see. Mm, you can't really see it. But I use some different textures and here through a stencil, this is textured here. Um, and then I glued that on and I put watercolor all around it. And the paper was so thin that it was about to break, but I just left it and I left it to dry like open face for 24 hours. Um, and then the, the watercolor is um, Jane Davenport. And then I did some stamping. So that's it. And I'm so satisfied because I actually made some artwork. So if you're a mom like me, um, I have things just like paper clipped that I want to use later. Um, and I don't go in any sort of order when I start gluing. Sometimes I go to the back of the book and I start gluing and sometimes I go to the front. Um, and I do, I skip lots of pages so that the spine, the spine will warp if you don't kind of go back, front, middle, back, front, middle. Anyway. I tried Jenny Belly's um, Juicy Edges, and that's fun. I did this with a toddler sitting on my on my lap and playing with a glue stick. <laughs> and she, I hope she didn't eat any of it, but she might have. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so anyway, you know, I just skip pages. And then, like, here's one that I'm not done with, but I just glue. This was from a magazine, old jelly print. Some scrapbook paper, another jelly print. I don't even know where that's from. Book page, more juicy edges. I'm trying to put K's because my name's Kate. So, like, where was that other juicy edge? Let's see here. There was another juicy edge in here. There. K. Because my name's Kate. K. So, maybe that'll reoccur in my journal. Here's another one that's just glue down so I would consider like this a background and then maybe I'll do something on top of it or um, continue drawing the flower or something I don't know flower flower 
maybe I need more flowers. Um, a lot of this stuff I got in a um, swap on, um, I did a personal swap, like a flowish journal type swap. Um, more jelly print. This is an ad um, bingo card. My mother-in-law gives me some bingo cards if I ask her to save them. Um, my friend and I did a craft night and she was cutting all these things out of a Cricut. She gave me all of her scraps. Um, so, you know, again, just background, but you don't know how satisfying when you are starved to make art because you have two kids and when you get home from work and all you do is take care of the kids and then as soon as you're done and they're asleep, you're exhausted and you go to bed. So like, even if I take 10 or 15 minutes after they go to bed and do this, it is so satisfying. I have no idea why. It's just making art, I guess. This one, I did a color theme. So I was a little bit more selective and I picked things that were in a theme um, or kind of went around this orange theme, probably because it's Halloween. This was something we were making a little banner with pumpkins, this little pumpkin cut out. So you know, and then more blank pages. And then when I do have a little bit more time, oh wait, no, I'll talk about the page in a second. Here's a page of, um, I tried to make kind of like a landscape. So the ground and the land and the trees and a very abstract. And then the sky, and this could be like a little cloud or something, very abstract, not done. Um, and then here, this is the page I was gonna talk about. Sometimes when I have a little bit more work, I can get my out my, um, watercolors and watercolor or this was a stamp and just you know do a little bit so I did that first and then I started gluing so it's just a piece of paper so sometimes I have a time for a little bit more or have energy this was another thing that was like um Mirami small art she does one of her videos maybe half a year ago was all this string and watercolor or ink and I just glued it right in it was on it was a packaging can you see that it was like the back of a packaging but it's just satisfying to me and there's my children I'm practicing lettering their names this was a totally finished page um, again a lot of these things I got from a swap um, but I had punched out some hearts my daughter wanted to use a punch so that was the scrap um, so yeah this this was from a Joanne's ad. So you can find stuff all over the place. This is what this book is teaching me, that I don't have to buy things. It's just all over. This page I love. It's not done, but it's just um, print. Words, letters, numbers of all different kinds of fonts. Um, and upside down, different languages. I don't know where that's from, but it's a company. So yeah, I, I love that. And that's it. And that's my glue book. And any of you out there who are moms and are working or have no time, I love this idea and I will continue to do it and if you have any questions let me know um, and thank you so much for watching all my viewers sorry I haven't made a video in a while I don't know when the next time I'm gonna make a video I can hear my kids out there screaming it's been eight minutes nine minutes what are they gonna do without me anyway they're with someone don't worry they're safe <laughs> so thank you all for watching and until next time bye bye